to Kid T. <laughs> to Kit Kat TV. Mm. It's our final week of Messengers. It's. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, no, I just okay. wrote this part. It's Welcome back to KTV. I'm Gabrielle. Sorry, I was looking down when you started <laughs> because my card fell on the floor. Sorry. So oh. Welcome back to KTV. I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Eric. And it's our final week of Messengers. And guess what? What? It's game time. Yeah, it is. We're playing our last communication themed game, Mad Gab. Mad Gab. Mad Gab is a game of jumbled up sentences and I'm gonna read them and then Eric has to guess what it's actually saying. Um, so I'll start okay. and then we'll just go back and forth. You ready? I love it. Let's okay. do it. Do ache who goals urge. What? Do a who goals urge. One more time. Do a goal, do a who goal urge. Do a Google search. Yeah! Oh, wow. Didn't think I was gonna get it. Great job, great Dang. job. All, All right. right, is that now no I go? Turn. Okay, okay, here we go. Ache, ache hatter Mia worlds. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, ache hatter Mia words. Ache hatter Mia words. <laughs> Academy Awards! Academy Awards is correct. Great. Good job. Proud of that. Okay, ready? Mm hmm Chew lie thief, chew lie thief oath. Chew lie thief oath. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> chew lie thief oath. N uh, ch I'm chew hearing just- Chew lie thief oath. Chew lie thief. This doesn't sound like what it actually is to me. So, one more time. Chew lie thief oath. I got July nothing. Thief <laughs> July the fourth. Yes. Oh, Good job, wow. Eric. That one was hard. That one. Oh, that one was hard. Okay, here we go. Um, eight grist muck air hole. Eight. Eight grist. Eight grist muck air hole. Eight grist muck air hole. A grizzly. Eight uh, grist muck air hole. Even Acris know. muck air hole. No, I have nothing. You got nothing. Acris, Acris. You're 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 close. Acris. Acris. A Christmas Carol. That's it. Oh, you're so good. Okay. Oh, my good job. Hard. Okay. Chainsaw fad dress. Chainsaw fad dress. What? Chainsaw fad dress. 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 Oh, I, I can't hear it. Chainsaw fad dress. One more time. Chainsaw fad dress. 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 Change of address. Change of address. There you go. Oh, I appreciate the assist there. I appreciate it. I was trying to read it, but then I remember the answer and I kind of messed it up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Police color doctor. Police. Please call a doctor. Wow, I didn't even, that's it. You you killed it. Oh my goodness. Who do you think won, you or me? I think you won. It was pretty even. I mean, you 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 guessed all four. I didn't get one of them. But yeah, you guessed all four one. and you guessed quickly. So I will take the loss on that one. Great. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for game time. Why don't we head on out to worship? Mm -hmm. We're so glad that you're here. Would you stand to your feet? Let's sing this out together. When darkness tries to roll over my bones, when sorrow comes to steal the joy I own, when brokenness and pain is all I know. I won't be shaken My fear doesn't stand a chance when I
we've been discovering more about the people who delivered God's message all over the world. Mm -hmm. That's right. Many people, when they learn about Jesus for the first time, say that they feel free, as though they are broken free of chains that used to trap them. It's such a good feeling that once you experience it, you can't help but spread the message. Yeah. Today, we're going to hear about some people who were in jail, but they were free. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. We left off our story with Paul in Macedonia, the place where God told him to go where he met Lydia and helped her know about Jesus. Let's read more about Paul's adventures. Pause this video and open your Bibles to Acts 16, verses 16 through 34. My, oh my, it has been a while since I've seen your little cute chicken nugget faces. Have you been? Good, good, good. That's always good to hear. Mate, <laughs> you know, just living the dream. Delivering mail with a smile. I'm at Andrew's house again, delivering mail, so. <laughs> Whoa, here it is. Do y'all know what this is? This is a ticket. And not like a fun ticket that you earn at an arcade store or a ticket game thing. This is a bad ticket. It says it's from the highway ticket division too. So that means Andrew got a ticket that involves his car. I wonder what it could be. What did Andrew do? I mean, there's a lot of laws out there for cars, you know? I mean, did you know it's illegal to drive a black car in Denver on Sunday? Or even in Alabama, you can't drive with a blindfold on. I mean, come on, that takes all the fun out of it. I mean, I even read one time it's illegal to drive with a gorilla in your backseat. I mean, how am I supposed to transport my gorillas to the gorilla trampoline party that I'm hosting? Anywho. I wonder what Andrew did. Did what? Andrew! Ah! Hey, you got a letter! Oh, really? Oh, no. What is it? It's a ticket. What? That's crazy. I have no idea you got a ticket. Um, what's it for? Oh, man. This is from when I visited my grandma in Nevada. What happened in Nevada? Well, I needed to go to town to get her some sugar for the cookies she was making, but we didn't have a car. So you couldn't make cookies? That's the thing. We had a camel in the backyard. A what? A camel. So I rode into town and apparently it's illegal to ride a camel on the highway in Nevada. Oh, well, I, well, I, uh, uh, I, that's just a weird story. I know, but now it looks like I'm in big trouble. If I don't pay this ticket, I might go to jail. Well, then you'd be like Paul and Silas. What are you talking about? Paul and Silas went to jail? What? You didn't know about that? I just read it last week in Acts chapter 16. Really? How did I miss that? <laughs> Probably too busy riding camels. <laughs> yeah, anywho, the story starts off with these guys being followed by a, a local woman. And she had been famous for telling people's fortunes and futures. Was she with Paul and Silas? No, she kept on following them and yelling stuff to the point where Paul got like really annoyed. Well, everyone gets annoyed from time to time. You get annoyed too? Do I ever annoy you? I'm, I'm not going to answer that. So Paul got annoyed? Oh, for sure. So there was this lady following him and Silas around. She was being really obnoxious, which means she was being really loud and unpleasant. And she was making it challenging for them to do God's work. Paul somehow knew it was because she wasn't all that well. So he called upon the name of Jesus to make the evil spirits in her go away. And it worked! But that made certain people very unhappy. Why would they be unhappy? Paul and Silas just helped her get better. Well, when she had the evil spirit in her, she was able to predict the future. Now, I don't know if she actually could or she thought she could. Anyways, she made a lot of money for her bosses doing this. After Paul and Silas got rid of that evil spirit, she didn't do that business anymore. And now her bosses were real mad and they were out of like a ton of money. Oh, I get it now. So what did they do about it? Well, those people grabbed Paul and Silas, dragged them through the streets and presented them to the authorities. Oh no. They told the authorities that Paul and Silas were breaking all the laws and causing trouble. So they had Paul and Silas beat up and thrown in jail. Are you serious? As a timeout, they were both locked in a cell and had chains around their feet. Oh no, I, I bet they didn't do anything wrong. I bet they were so angry. Well, they weren't. What? They actually began to pray and sing inside the jail. Are you kidding me? How cool is it that they found joy even being in a tough situation like that? Right, but you'll never guess what happened next. Earthquake? Nope, it was an earthquake. Wait, did you say earthquake? Yeah. Oh, well, good guess. Yes, a huge earthquake shook the whole prison. And it was so powerful, it broke open all the doors and chains. No way, so they were free to go. Yeah, they were. And when the prison guard woke up, he saw that all the cell doors were open. And he assumed everyone had left. Oh no, he's in big trouble. Right, he was so scared, he was about to hurt himself. But Paul called out and he said, hey, don't harm yourself, we're all here. 
Wait, they didn't leave and, and they could have escaped and they wouldn't have even been caught? Yeah, he couldn't believe it. He ran up to Paul and he said, hey, how can I be saved? This is blowing my mind right now. What happened next? Paul told him, believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. You and your household. So they all got up, washed themselves off, and immediately the guard and his whole family were baptized. Then they shared a meal with Paul and Silas. Holy moly, what an incredible story. Right. Now, obviously, you won't go to jail over your simple ticket, but God will help you in any situation, no matter how big or small. I guess you're right. Maybe I shouldn't worry as much. Because if God can take care of Paul and Silas in prison with their problems, surely God can take care of me and all of mine. Right. No matter how wacky things get in our life, we can remember that God always sends help to us, the children. But it's not always how we expect God to help, huh? What do you mean? Well, think about it. Paul and Silas could have escaped when the earthquake happened, but they didn't. They knew if they stayed, God would do something big, like save that guard and his whole family. Andrew, you're completely right. Wow, was that story cool or what? I mean, it had fortune tellers, prison cells, earthquakes, and salvation, it had everything. Oh, and that's what reminds me of our big idea for this week, which is God sends help. So let's say it super duper loud, okay? One, two, three, God sends help. Great job, kids. Now you can hold on to this message as a promise. God sends help, never forget it. Oh, um, and one more thing to remember. <laughs> Next time you're in Nevada, remind your parents to drive the car into town not a camel, okay? Got it. Thanks, Jada. Um, I'm not going to drive one. I'm just shopping and looking. Bye, kids. <laughs> Classic crawl. See you later, kids. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Paul and Silas responded in such an unexpected way when they were in jail. Not only did they praise God in jail, not leave when they had the option to escape, but they also told the jailkeeper about Jesus. Paul and Silas might have been in chains, but that didn't lock up their courage or, tr or their trust in God. Mm -hmm. Even though they were not physically free, they knew they had the best freedom of all that only Jesus could give. Now, Carl said that God will help us in any situation, big or small. Sometimes God helps us in ways that are different from what we, are, what we expect or even what we're asking for. But just like Paul and Silas trusted God, we can trust that God loves us so much that he only ever helps us in a way that is the very best for us. All month long, we've been talking about messengers who shared the gospel and how God invites us to have a relationship with him and be one of his messengers. Mm -hmm. It's on us to accept the invitation and to pass the invitation along to others. Speaking of passing the invitation along to others, mm -hmm. Eric, a few weeks ago, at mm -hmm. the beginning of this month, you went on a trip to Mexico to meet with other pastors there. Can you share a bit about your trip with us? Yeah, it was, it was a great trip. Where the last time we got to work with kids and with leaders, this time it was a way to work with the church's leaders and the pastors so that they could focus but what are they focusing on they're focusing on spreading the message and working with each other to spread the message it was such an amazing time one thing I can say is that you're never prepared to you can never pre be prepared to see what God's gonna do mm -hmm. you never can you can think you know how things are gonna go and you can prepare and do all your homework and get ready for the trip but then you're there and God just shows up in amazing ways that will literally bring you to tears mm -hmm. it was an amazing time it was good to see just the impact that God had on people's lives it was great to feel the impact even in our own lives mm -hmm. and it's good to be back yeah so not only did you accept God's invitation to share the message of Jesus with right. other people. You're helping other people accept the invitation too. That's right. Just like our story. That's right. Thanks for sharing, Eric. Of course. Another way we can spread the message of Jesus is by helping other people, just like Eric just did. Mm -hmm. Eve, every time you do something to help someone, you are inviting them to know God's love. So what I want you to be thinking about is who's someone you can be a messenger to and who's someone you can show God's love to by helping them. Okay, you guys know what time it is. It's time for me to find out what my consequence is. So let's give it a spin. <laughs> That's not. 
There it is. We love it. Ooh, black 19. Ooh, that, that means doesn't sound great. You get to take, try a tasty treat all the way from Australia called Marmite. Marmite? Yep, it's yeast extract. And what? people like to put it on toast, which we don't have toasted bread. I guess that makes sense. You have yeast in bread. I guess you have yeast in that's this. True. Ooh, that's not what I thought it was gonna look like. Kind of tastes like, I mean taste, smells like soy. That's not really what you want on toast. Look at this, this is how thick it is. I can't even stir it. I will not be trying oh, that. Oh jeez. I smelled it and that's a big no for me. It's got the consistency of molasses. The oh, color. Have... Eric, come on. See, it's that thick. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be you remember how much wasabi you put on my Kit Kat last week, right? Maybe you should be putting my Marmite <laughs> on my toast. Here, I'll help you out a little bit. You hold What do you mean you don't, you'll, you'll help me? Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Well, it's gotta spread out. No. If this was Nutella, I'd be saying yes. I hate Nutella. What? Well, it's not All for right. everybody. We feel like that's enough. I We feel like it was enough when I had it. <sighs> I mean, you can get a bite around the, <laughs> the big chunks. Oh, you're really going for the sandwich. Then you don't have to see it. Yeah. Good choice. It kind of tastes like peanut butter in like a gross way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I had it on my finger. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap this up for us. We'll see you guys next month for a brand new series. <laughs> <laughs>